All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Moving on to our second bout of the evening. First up, welcome to the cage, William Kemp. All right, along with Chris Garrity and the machine, Gerald Mearshart, I'm Rich Reynolds. Fight number two as we take a look at William Kemp. We saw Kemp back in Chosen Few Fighting Championships number 14. He was stopped in his debut, a TKO against Rudy Hernandez. Oh, who, by the way, will be fighting in our second, or actually our third fight of the night, coming up right after this one. So Kemp, a loser, his first time out. He is trying to get that elusive first win, and he will be facing Tyler Curtis. We take a look at the Carbon World Health tail of the tape. A slight height advantage for Tyler Curdy. We'll see if he is able to use that to his advantage as Kemp is getting the look over. He's going to make his way up into the cage, and then we'll take a look at Curdy. Next up, his opponent, Tyler Curdy. And here comes Tyler Curdy. Tyler Curdy, a chosen few fighter. In fact, out of the 11 fights tonight, 10 of them feature a fighter from the Chosen Few gym. And Curdy is going to be making his cage debut here tonight against William Kemp as we take once again a look at the Carbon World Health tail of the tape. Curdy with the height advantage again. Will he use that to his advantage up in the cage? Let's see if that's how it'll play out as Curdy getting checked over. He's heading up to the cage. And then we will once again hear from Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, our second bout of the evening is brought to you by 93-1 Jams and scheduled for three rounds in our amateur well Introducing first this man fighting out of the Coliseum Bar Red Corner. He stands in at six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. He represents Felipe Barbosa, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and hails from Sauk City, Wisconsin. Welcome to the cage, William Kemp. His opponent, this man, fighting out of the Harley Davidson and Madison blue corner. He represents the chosen few, Jim, and hails from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. He stands in at six foot two inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, making his amateur debut, Tyler Curdy. Kind of interesting, couple of Wisconsin boys going at it, Sun Prairie versus Sauk City. And that's what we have for our second fight of the night. One thing that I do remember in the fight against Rudy Martinez is that William Kemp has a strong right hand. He rocked Martinez a couple of times with that right. Martinez, though, able to endure and eventually got the TKO. And both guys throwing blows here, going at it in the first round. Yeah, Tyler I'm, I'm, Curdy needs to put his chin down before he gets tipped. Now he's got uh, Kemp backing up, but really early there, we saw Kemp catching him with some really solid jabs and a couple right hands here and there, but he's really got to tuck that chin if he wants to keep Whoa. fighting right now. He's getting his head whipped back pretty bad. Yes, he is, and Kemp using a left hook over and over again, and Curdy not getting his hands up, and right now, this is a little bit of a different fight than we saw in the first one. That one a lot on the mat. These two guys are just throwing blows in the center of the cage. 
Two reasons I really like William Kemp. One, he's from Sauk City. I live in Prairie du Sac. Two, he came out to Tribe Called Quest, so I love walkout. There you go. go. <laughs> Always an important aspect for a fighter as Kemp went down on a good kick from Curdy, and now fighting back once again. I tell you what, Kemp can throw blows, but I think he's starting to run out of gas here a little bit. You see both of these guys might have punched themselves out early on. Well, Gerald can talk to this a little bit more, but you can see the novice striking and how each guy is literally throwing punches without the use of their body. Right. Everything is swinging from the shoulder. Nothing is really using that kinetic chain, Ooh. getting the entire body into it. So they're whipping their arms tired, and obviously you can yeah, see they're already Both have their chins up pretty high, but right now Curdy game took his shots, and now Thanks. he's doing some nice body work. Kemp in trouble, caught an uppercut, and he is in big trouble now as Curdy continues to rain down blows and now goes for the choke, and I don't think Kemp's going to get out of this one. I think I saw Kemp tap himself when he was bending over, and I think Tom DeVellis missed it, but Kemp is still going here. I don't know how long he's going to last. It looks like defeat on his face right now. Absolutely, as he is in a ball right now. Curdy on top, holding that choke into place, but then he lets it go, and instead he'll rain down more He's hammer done. throws right here, He's and done. this might be the end. It is. Tyler Curdy landed a big uppercut, a few knees in there as well, and then choked out Kemp, finished it with a couple of strong shots. Tyler Curdy is 1-0 and oh with a flurry here in our second fight of the night. Taking a look at the action, here was the finish here as Curdy just throwing hammer shots down on Kemp and he was in no mood to continue right there as he tried to cover up but just was not able to as a great job by Curdy to keep the pressure up, keep the blows coming. Yeah, they weren't all good shots, but they were getting in there, they were landing, and obviously they hurt Kemp. Oh, you know, Rich, that's the type of fight people love. Two guys stood out in the middle of the cage, they went at it. You know, their chins were in the air, they were both wearing the shots, but they both took them. Tyler Curdy was game. He came forward, started to break Kemp, and did some real nice body work, and he ended up getting that TKO victory. Here's the Ladies official and gentlemen, word your referee, from Chris. Mr. Tom Devella steps in, calls a stop to this bout at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number one. For your winner, by TKO, Tyler Curdy. Curdy gets the win as a lot of striking in that one, and Curdy got the better of it. Sun Prairie beat Sox City in that one. Fight number three is coming up next as we will see Rudy Hernandez make his way back into the cage on 57 Sports.